I'm an internal medicine physician. I'm practicing in Baldwin, Michigan, which is a small town that I live in, in rural Michigan. And I've been in internal medicine for 22 years now. I graduated from medical school in 1983. I came to this clinic for care because I've been on a search for treating my prostate cancer in a natural way. And I landed at this particular location because for I was diagnosed over three years ago, about three and a half years ago. And the options that were offered to me were radiation and surgery. And I knew that I had grown very fond of my prostate gland. I wasn't very excited about losing that. And I also knew that radiation, I had had patients of mine, friends of mine, that had radiation. And it did a lot of damage to them, a lot of side effects that we don't hear about. Uh, even as physicians, it's in our patients to specialists. We don't hear about these side effects that people end up going through. But me being privy to these things knew that I, I was not open to either one of those routes. I was really looking for an integrative way to approach my disease because I knew that me having cancer had something more to do than just my lifestyle because I've been living a pretty healthy lifestyle in terms of my nutrition, in terms of my exercise. Um, my life the past several years has been geared towards being under less stress. So it was a surprise to me and a surprise to the small community that I live in when I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. So I said that there must be more to this than just having an awful lifestyle, even though I knew that that could contribute to it. So I began this quest for an integrated approach where we could use the diagnostic tools which conventional medicine has to offer along with some more natural yet aggressive ways to approach the cancer. Dr. Butar has established that there is a genetic link to the ability that certain people have to excrete heavy metals. When he first looked at my result here and saw that I was not putting out any significant metals after challenge, he said to me, I have some bad news for you, you're a non-excreter. And that actually was good news to me because now I knew I wasn't crazy and that my body was not putting these things out. Well, in the meantime, I had done some research and found out that genomic testing could be done. I could actually have my genes tested. And when I had this done, I found out that genetically, I lack several enzymes that help the liver to put out heavy metals, um, car exhaust fumes, cigarette smoke. So I was an easy setup in a toxic environment for cancer and heavy metal poisoning for that reason. This whole concept of not being able to excrete heavy metals is very important, I found, especially in working with Dr. Butar, in diseases not just cancer, but diseases like autism, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, ALS, all of these other diseases that we see that conventional medicine really does not know how to address. They just know how to treat symptomatically to a small degree. But these people, just like myself, are poisoned people. And the only way to truly reverse these diseases is to get the poisons out and allow the body a chance to heal itself. Now with me, I know now that I have deficiencies and uh, I can remember a commercial years ago that said we all need help now and then. Well, that certainly applies to me in terms of excreting these metals. So this has been, this has been a, a profound breakthrough for me to have learned these things and I'm very grateful to Dr. Butar for that. I've been a patient here at the clinic for eight weeks now. This is my eighth week. And during this time, I've had a lot of um, aggressive treatment that has been very, very beneficial to me. I've been experiencing things that have been letting me know that my immune system is turning back on. Um, for years, I thought that, wow, everybody around me gets sick and I don't get sick. And I was thinking because I wasn't having any symptoms that I wasn't getting sick. But now looking at my lab tests and the way that my body is responding, I see now that it was because of the poisons that were in me that I was not responding to colds and things like that the way that I should. I have seen, um, I have met many, many wonderful people here, uh, both in terms of the staff and other patients. It's, it's very enlightening for a physician to sit in a suite with patients, being a patient yourself, you know, with your IVs in, taking your different supplements, and you can relate to these stories with them. And you're talking to a patient across the room here who was diagnosed um, two years ago with a cancer that had spread to her, started in her breasts and it spread to her bones and it spread to her liver and she was told that she would not be alive in six months and she's sitting here talking to you well and and we you know because we're patients we're not confined by the HIPAA laws that don't let us discuss things with each other so people openly talk about their cases and about how successful and why they continue to come here and that has been that has just been a huge thing that has moved me into the direction of saying this is the type of medicine I want to practice